Yo guys, what's going on and welcome to a new video here on the channel. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you the best ship in the game and I just unlocked this ship a few days ago, but it's honestly mind-blowing and it's of course the Skite. Man, oh man, I've been hearing so much about this ship taking down like Leviathans, in some instances Profanities, Executors and I never got the hang of it, but now when I've unlocked it, holy crap guys, this is an amazing ship. Let me just show you guys my crystals from the last three days. 1200, and that's all because I've been able to claim first place every single day thanks to the sky. And as you can see right here, I've been just trying some stuff with my negotiator and marauder, trying to perfect my counter up against the Leviathan. But I mean, with Sky, it's just so smooth, guys. I I feel like it's like 90% win rate for me. And even though sometimes I lose, it's such an easy cleanup that I'm going to I can just send in whatever ship I want. If now I speak in it like it's Grand Arena or something like that. But we're just gonna go into one battle. I'm going to showcase you it for you guys how easy this battle actually is and <laughs> well guys if you don't have Skyjet and you're struggling with your counter up against Leviathan make sure you do get him. So the, the, the lineup is going to be Sky, uh, Tide Advance, Imperial Tide Fighter and we're just gonna use Tide Defender and uh, what's the name the prototype yeah Interceptor prototype um, for this battle so we're just gonna go straight into it guys we're not gonna waste any time at all as i've said i've had so much success with this um almost like 85 percent win rate all the time and as i said even if i do sometimes lose it's an easy cleanup uh, for me however what we're gonna do we're gonna start off with doing the first special ability we're gonna do this then with vader get some ability block um on sith marauder sh ship and we're going to take in Tide Defender straight away, guys. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to give the Sith Marauder ship a stun. Perfect. Awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dispel all the buffs, which we can do with his first uh, special ability. So we're going to do that. And here, guys, here's the part where it can get a little bit tricky. If we do not one-shot uh, the Sith Assassin right here, it, it might be a little bit trickier, but if we do one-shot it, we're gonna get it and uh, the, the win pretty easily. So let's see what we get. Okay, we get <laughs> 192 pass up. Not a lot of ships can survive that. Um, from here on out, guys, it's pretty much game set match. Now we just. It's probably gonna take a few minutes to get rid of all of these guys, and then they're gonna probably bring in Mark 6 Interceptor, <laughs> which they just did, and this is probably gonna take a little bit of time to get down um, but now that we're here we're going to use the second special ability to heal up the tide defender she is vital for survival um, which I am going to be showcasing for you why in a minute we're gonna bring in our tie interceptor prototype and we're just gonna do this get try and get some foresight out there on our characters and they got some nice counter attacks there actually um, I'm just gonna do basic and we should have an insta kill here in a second and we almost lost her oh, she's okay though we're just gonna give that back to her so we can heal her up okay we cannot kill, kill her up a little bit but it's probably okay now we got rid of the sit road ship and from here on out it's just a matter of time really uh, let's see <laughs> he's gone now yeah we lost her which is a little bit unfortunate but here is why Tide Defender is so... You must make sure she survives, because every time we may, we get we can remove 6 stacks of the Mark 6 Interceptor every time we do a basic on it. Uh, as you can see from the rest it's only 2. And here is why it's gonna take a little bit of time, because uh, it's gonna take some time to get her, that ship down to 0 stacks. and. They're probably gonna have a few reinforcements and they're probably gonna take over our ship, but it's okay. Uh, we're just gonna make sure we get rid of all of the reinforcements uh, before we uh, basically kill off the Mark VI uh, Interceptor. I, ca I can never remember if I say the name correctly. However, <laughs> the Sith Empire Troopers ship 
It's just easier to say it like that. Um, now they're taking over a ship, it shouldn't be a problem. Remove six stacks, and now they're probably gonna bring in a few more reinforcements. As I said, it's probably gonna take a bit of time. Um, just keep on doing the specials. We've gotten rid of all of the main ships, really. So now it's just a matter of time. Um, as I said, just make sure we get rid of all of the reinforcements before we start um, getting rid of these uh, the Empire Troopers stacks. Um, so let's see, six more. Um, let's just heal Rafa just in case. And uh, damn it, I, I hate this ship, guys. Holy crap, this ship is so annoying. Uh, let's see, five, one more hit from Fight Defender should do the job. And there we go, guys. So, as you saw, super smooth. Um, but I am going to be trying to showcase you for you guys the battle um, what happens when we do not insta kill um, the Sith Assassin ship. So I'll be back in just a second. So, guys, we are back. We're gonna basically do the same thing over again as I just explained to you in the battle before. Uh, they're gonna do their thing. Let's see. Bring it our turns out. Tie Defender. Bring her in. We get the stun, perfect, get rid of their buffs, and let's see, so now this is perfect, as you saw, Sith Assassin just survived the hit from Vader, which is okay, it, it's still a manageable battle, and I'm going to showcase you how I normally do it. So it's gonna be a little bit uphill battle from here guys, I'm not going to lie for you. Um, it's not as easy as before um, But we're gonna mark not mark we're gonna heal up our tie defender once again because she is vital for this We're gonna bring in our prototype. We're just gonna do this right here And as you can see the taunt is down on Sith Marauder. Just go for Sith Assassin And they destroyed our reinforcements luckily for us. We have all our reinforcements out in the battle already and let's just uh, try to get rid of him a little bit because we're gonna insta kill this marauder ship. I don't know, we're just gonna you know, just give it to the TIE Defender because, in my opinion, the most important ship of this whole thing. And then we can see the Fury Class Interceptor is gone, and now it's only the Mark VI Interceptor. So even though we did not insta kill um, the Sith Assassin ship right away, we're still able to clean this up pretty, pretty easily. And as I'm going to be showcasing you my relics on the characters. Uh, like the pilots of the ships are not that high. I think my Grand Inquisitor and my fifth brother is only at relic 5. So the sky, even though it's really powerful, only at relic 5. Just imagine how powerful it would be if I had both at like relic 8 or relic 9, for example. Then this would be even better. And also for my TIE Defender, I do not even have Iden Versio at um, <laughs> 7 stars. I think I have her at like 6 stars, something like that. So really crazy in my opinion this is like just turned the whole fleet uh, upside down for me because the things I was able to do once I got Skyth is just incredible uh, let's see just get rid of him and two more hits should do it right uh, let's just heal up because they're gonna get a few more stacks in probably uh, okay, nice, perfect. Um, so as you see, this one even went even smoother than before. Um, but yeah, guys, as you saw, Sky is just an incredible ship, and I know I'm probably a little bit late to it with the Leviathan counter and all of this, but I just had to make a video on it because it just, as I said, turned the world upside down for me. Um, being able to one shot. Leviathan so easy and being able to even if I don't one shot it being able to clean it up Especially in Grand Arena is going to be huge for me because I'm in Kyber 2 and I'm facing a lot of Leviathans out there, but even though you don't need to Use Sky to only to beat Leviathans. I think you can actually beat a lot of profanities and executors as well I do not have the exact data. Let me just take that up actually So the win rate was around 80 to 85 percent on the executors and was around like 50% up against the profanities, but that was with the Tarkin capital ship. Uh, anyways, in my opinion, amazing ship, um, especially the taking down the Leviathans, which has been the, my biggest problem 
a big issue um, so far. Um, but yeah guys, as I said, a little bit late to the whole hype about this guy, but I just needed to make sure I made a video on it because he was it, it's an incredible ship. And if you can get him guys uh, from the Conquest uh, next round, make sure to get him because it's a ship that's going to <laughs> turn your world upside down and be able to, and you're gonna be able to get to rank one in your fleet arena shard and get like 400 crystals each day which is which is just amazing guys as you can see i'm currently a rank one i get my rewards in three hours hopefully i can stay uh number one until then but yeah guys that's gonna be it for this video i hope you did enjoy this uh, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next video peace